great. Well, we did have the steps and time frame, I guess, that we were, we were going to talk about that late on that same sheet. Time, time frame. And that, that time frame really is beginning kind of in the next phase. It's kind of saying with both of these it is. It's saying um, when this review and revision process starts, which is end of September, beginning of October, that's my understanding. And Cliff, I don't know if that's changed any or if that's still. It hasn't changed any yet. So that's kind of that time frame. So that's when um, those two those two plans, as you know, EPD then I assume will provide some guidance to the council to move forward on those or to hold on to them or you know whatever the, the exact next steps will be. Um, I don't know. We just submit them. It's 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 in in the words we are it's in limbo. Well, we've had a we've had a couple of folks in our water plan that came out for. Attorney leaving some names, so they've we've been behind. And now we're getting, getting back on track. So, okay. not much we can do about that. That's right. <laughs> so, we do have Jim Kennedy and Liz Booth coming from EPD today to give two presentations. Um, they were going to they were having to come down from Atlanta this morning. So, since they are not here yet, they thought they could be here about eleven. If it's okay, I'll kind of just move in to some of the things we're going to talk about once they finish their presentation. Is that okay? So in this, um, in the last thing that, that the council has to develop for EPD during this phase is this five-year review and revision cycle document. And this is how EPD describes it. Each council shall provide a progress report to EPD on the identification of plan elements most relevant to the five-year review and revision cycle. The progress report should discuss the process that the councils have taken to identify the relevant plan elements, the outcomes of that process, and any plan next steps or issues identified by the council. Progress should be submitted on or before August 31, 2015. So, this means a couple of different things to me. And I, and, and I think that we have some flexibility in what exactly this is going to look like. I think that part of it is saying, what are, are there things in your plan? Have there been changes within your region? that may significantly impact your plan as it's written right now. Um, are there large new water users? Or are there large water users that are no longer there? So I think that's one thing. First, who's, you know, if, has there been a significant change? I think the other piece of it is, are there pieces within your plan right now that you would put an asterisk by and say, hey, we'd like to make sure this is still true? We'd like to make sure this is still applicable. Or this goal maybe isn't, um, isn't exactly what we in, in, you know, envision. So we want to review the goals. We don't need to, at this point, make any revisions to the plan. But what we need to identify are pieces that may be impacted uh, and need to be revised. Cliff, is that your understanding as well? Absolutely, yes. Okay. So what I thought might be beneficial was just to really, in a, in a big picture way, walk through the plan and just remind you all of what it looked like. And so, again, this saying, something may catch your eye and you may say, we need to talk about that, or we need to make sure that that is uh, revised in some way. So if you'll remember, the plan itself, and you all in your notebooks, you all got an electronic copy of the of the plan. And then I, you may, I'm sure you all have cherished your hard copy that you received um, following the plan development five years ago. I'm sure. And you're laughing. You didn't. Is this yeah, on your coffee table? That's right. That's what I thought. You 
all revisit it and you look you look at it, you know, reflectively every once in a while and think of all the good times. So this is this is what we're looking at, and this is what we're saying, yeah, that's still applicable, or hmm, we might need to revisit that. So anyway, this is how the plan is broken out. In the first section, introduction, uh, I skipped the executive summary. Um, everybody skips the executive summary. So uh, we looked at significance of water resources in Georgia, so some of the big picture stuff, uh, the, the process, again, big picture, and then the vision and goals uh, of the region. And so I think that this is really the first piece to me that should be, um, that this group needs to say, yep, that's still our vision, or we may want to have some conversations about that in the, uh, in, uh, over the coming months. So the vision of the Suwannee Satilla Regional Council is to manage water resources in a sustainable manner under Georgia's regulated riparian and regulated reasonable use laws to support the state's and region's economy, to protect public health and natural resources, and to enhance the quality of life for all citizens while preserving the private property rights of Georgia's landowners and in consideration of the need to enhance resource augmentation and efficiency opportunities. Let me ask you something. Yes, sir. You, uh, you, you mentioned repair, repair a while ago. In the, in the, not in, in our area, but in the sub area four, does the people that own the land over there in sub area four, do they have repairing rights? Repairing rights? to the water there. Yes, anything on the property, under the property, or adjacent to their property. Wait a minute. They have a right to reasonable use. Okay, how can you stop them from putting something in if you've got repairing rights to it? You mean like a new well? Like a new well. Well, the director has a real broad authority to, uh, to prevent under certain conditions the specific statutory language says that the director has a responsibility to all users, has a responsibility to the resource and, uh, and adverse impacts caused from new withdrawals. Um, so in that case, he can, he can implement a suspension. But they don't have repair rights then. But, but it, it says regulated repair rights. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a regulator. It's, right. it's, it's a two part. Yes, you have, you have a right to use. And then the second part of that is you have a right, is the reasonableness, which is statutorily authority. The authority for that is statutorily given to the EPD director to determine the reasonableness. Okay, well, how about these ditches and these ponds that's going to be U.S. waters? Where does that come in? <laughs> does it come in for us at all? Uh, Andy, you got an idea on that one? As for future. They don't know how to go but if it comes down to it. Well, I mean, I think this council should bring that up. What are we going well, to do when that happens? Well, I mean, we obviously have a right here and right under state law that is being infringed upon by a federal law. I mean, that's simple as that. Well, the, the, the whole question to me is, is it a uh, jurisdiction? That, to me, what the federal regulations, not the law, but what the federal regulations are trying to do is expand that reach beyond what the intent was. So it, it's just a reach. Not I know they're trying to roll back this new interpretation of the 404. It's in the process, hopefully, it's going to get rolled back and go back the way it was until it's very really necessary. Um, we're still working pretty hard on that, the interpretation. So. I mean, at this, at, at this point, and for the foreseeable future, that, that doesn't impact the operational. Um, does it change operations that, from the state perspective at all? You, you know, um, well, that's one of the difference. Doesn't impact us at, uh, doesn't impact us at all. We're, we're not going to put a bunch of new people out to do some new patrolling, to do new regulations. Um, and the EPA says, hey, nor do, would you have to, because this is just clarification of existing. So if it's clarification of existing, as we are doing business now, we would continue to do that same business. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the, the regulated riparian rights uh, supersede 
anything after, after that. I mean, if, if you have a, if, if the director is allowed to regulate the riparian rights, which is the language, right? That's the use of, yes. The use, the use of. of, it supersedes everything. Now, where the Fed, the Fed language and the Fed authority steps in is how dirty you, how dirty you make that use. That, that's the, that's the, we're, the, let's say, state is amount, fed is dirtiness, pollution. Quality. 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 Under the Clean Water Act. So that's, that's a simple, I'm simplifying it a lot, but that's a simple way to divide. So what about the Good, good, good come down to a so, case. Well, it, you know, here, here's here's a way where those get linked is when EPA comes and says Grady's director EPD Grady's use because he's taking X amount, it's messing with the quality because he's reducing flow of right. Scotts. That's right. Therefore, y'all need to do something about it, and that, that happens sometimes. I mean, they step in and say you need to. Liz can talk about that today. She's talking about the, the EPA push to merge. We've always talked, frankly, we've always talked about quality and quantity as two different things, when in fact they're, they're very closely linked. And EPA's push for everything is to merge those things together. Uh, so, and, 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 and that is happening. Uh, Liz, I need to ask Liz about how you know, what she's having to do in her models. Who does Liz work for? Elizabeth Booth, she's, uh, she works for EPD. She is the program manager for our ambient monitor. She's all, she's our water quality czar, basically. In EPD. Yeah, I know her, but I didn't know who she actually worked for. She works for EPD. Yeah, went haven't turned her over to the EPD yet. I can't believe she's still, still around, still with us. We want to keep, we want to keep this one. You will let us keep her. How about giving you one back? I don't know about that. I ain't got much use for anything new right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to move this along. <laughs> anything else? Do you think, is there, your vision is, is it still your vision? Everybody fine with the mission statement? Yeah, good. I think good. it's good. Okay, your goals are on two different slides here, because you have 13 of them. Manage and develop water resources to 